Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 here at Laguna Seca. We're about to get started here with qualifying. And I'm glad I found something I wanted to race this week because uh, on the oval side of things at least, not too much I've been interested in to be honest. We've got all the NASCAR stuff at Atlanta Super Speedway this week, which I have no interest in. And then you've got like the 87 Legends at Martinsville, which I also have no interest in. And so uh, we're on the road right now. So if you're uh, wondering where any of that's, uh, where that might be, not gonna happen. <laughs> I already had to race uh, Atlanta Super Speedway once for the NIS truck. So gonna leave it at that. Do it just that one. And uh, instead, we'll be here at a very fun road course. And I enjoy this place. Now, we are racing the USF 2000, which is a fun car, but one that I am not unlikely to crash at some point, unfortunately. I am uh, going to do my best, but I am sometimes known to crash this thing. Unfortunately, I try my best. I promise I do. But this thing's tough, man. Especially heading through the corkscrew and stuff here. Green, green, green. But we will uh, start okay, this race off the as the black. three car and see if we can get ourselves a good starting spot. And if I can make it to the end. Then I uh, should be feeling pretty good, because as with most open wheel racing, just uh, surviving can get you a decent finish. Sometimes, so we'll see what we can do. So far, so good. Not not too bad. First couple of corners. Got my all-time optimal up, and that of course is usually run with lighter fuel. I was a little bit too cautious through there, but can you blame me? That corner is terrifying. As is this one. Famous corkscrew. Got through it okay, though. I'll take that. Too bad a lap here so far. Not the best run off there. I kind of entered a little bit hard, but about a half a second off my optimal. Definitely going to take that. So that's about as good as I can hope for. We went from fourth to third, so probably not actually doing too well on speed, but that's okay. This isn't my best car by any means, so I'm not expecting too much. Oof, could <laughs> cut that little turtle on the inside just a bit. Don't want to be doing that in this car for for sure. Hit some good uh hit some good corners though. Don't feel too bad about that. Can we survive the corkscrew another time? In the race I'm gonna have to survive it a number of attempts, so hopefully I can. Pretty tricky here in an open wheel car. Uh, I took that really awkwardly. That was really slow, the way I just did that. Well, that's gonna be slower, I think, than the first lap. I actually know just barely faster, but not really much. For 123.6. And I'm half paying attention and entering the corner too hard and losing control. Taking a safety reading hit for no reason. Good job, me. I'm sitting there looking at my time. Hey, 
actually, that's not so bad. We got some... Okay, well, we're dropping, but... <laughs> uh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, we're not in the 25s. I mean, th given that this guy's the number one, he's probably just using the whole first lap to uh, get his tires up to temp or something. And then he's going to shoot to the top or so, <laughs> Probably. But it's... Uh, I'm okay with that. It's all about surviving anyway, kind of like I said. Hopefully we get going. At least I'm not the only one with incidents. I would prefer not, not have any at all, but... Of course I had to go and do it after I actually finished my laps, too. Just for no reason. It's so tough, though. Just, you can't make any mistakes. This thing is tissue paper, and will just will like self destruct with any sort of contact with anything. And uh, you can't turn the wheel too hard, or it'll snap on you. you can't enter too hard, or it'll snap on you. <laughs> can't brake too hard, or the wheels will lock up, and then you'll die for some other reason. Maybe it'll even snap on you. I don't know. I'm waiting on the nine. He's got the most incidents. He might that might be why we're waiting on him. He had to reset a time or two, maybe. He doesn't have a single lap in. Does he have a lap registered? He does. So first lap didn't count that he did. But if he finishes up here, maybe we can get going. But for now, we are P4 as the number three. Top five would be fantastic. I'd be very happy with that, but just the top half of the field, I think, would be good for me. But I've got to back up that qualifying time with some consistent laps and, uh, again, not crashing. <laughs> Big key here. just realized I didn't set my... Uh, Brake bias the way I like it. I'll have to move it down a little bit to help prevent lockup. I'm going to do it right about there, I think. Because it does want to get unsettled a little bit. So I don't want to overdo it, but. Is this nine even running laps? Is he even trying to finish, or is he always just sitting here waiting? I don't know, but we got 10 seconds anyway, regardless of what he's doing. We'll be ready to go. Okay, voice chat's ready. Okay, someone needs to say, look out, my brakes are out. That never happens. People sure do drive like their brakes are out sometimes, but... Oh, that's right, we gotta make a pace lap. Man. Boring. Oh well. My safety rating on road is in the threes again. I don't know if I actually ever got back to the fours, now that I'm thinking about it. But I would look it to get there. Or I could get that back up there. Excuse me. Yawning. I guess we will prepare in case we have to do the fast repair. Waiting on 7th through ninth place to grid up. And that's it. So anytime you're ready, guys. 7th through ninth. Someone blinking? I see someone. Is the guy on my left? Looking at you, Cooper. Yep. He's being blinky. Oh, he also has a Wonder Bread Ricky Bobby Talladega Knights helmet. Which makes me feel even less confident that I'm not going to get hit by him. Oh, boy. Yep, pretty consistently blinking. Hopefully, if he's faster than me, he'll just drive away. To follow car number 13. And I don't know, maybe he'll be just fine and I'll be the one driving terrible. Actually, that's probably more likely.
Probably gonna be a second gear start. Try to get these brakes warmed up. Get some of that squeak out of them. Way behind the pace car for some reason, if P2 ever wants to catch up at any point. There we go. I don't want to accordion too hard or anything, so I'm really going to ease, on, uh, ease into slowing down and stuff. At least try to. Turn one's gonna be scary. It usually is pretty scary here. Hopefully we get some room. Try to give some room in front of us as well. I really hope we have room by the time we get to around this point. And then on to the corkscrew. I think being patient's gonna be important. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. This guy's lock up their tires, trying to drive in hard and all that stuff. I think more likely than not, I'm not going to make it to the end of this 10 lap event, but, you know, we'll see. It's hard enough to make it through the pace lap, through the quick screw. We're almost getting started, though. Rounding up to the uh, final corner. Get ready, going green. We'll be looking to the guy on the left to get us started. Be ready. He's off. Green flag. Except that might be the case. To go. This time by. So we are going to be passed by P5 before we get to start finish line. Saw someone getting bigger in my mirror. Oh boy. I thought I was about to die right there. Right side. Still there. Still there. Stay on the left. Pushed uh, wide Stay a little bit. Right. We're getting swamped. Just trying to survive right now. Not gonna make any moves from here all the way through to the corkscrew. This clown is going to though. Still there. Clear on the right. Why? Why not be patient? I don't know why anyone would ever be patient. Clear on the right. Clear on the right. No reason to ever do that. But maybe I'm the dummy and now I'm just never going to catch back up to him, I don't know. Well, that was a just a horrendous start in terms of position. We go from starting fourth to back to ninth. So that's not ideal. See if we can uh, get anywhere, I guess. Just waiting for these tires to warm up so I'm a little more confident in how I can drive it. Do have some space now, that makes me feel a little bit better. Guy had getting a little bit wiggly. He's okay though. Oh, it's also smoke. I thought someone was spinning, but maybe it was just a small lockup. Let's 
Nine. More lockups ahead. Got some racing going on. Have to watch out, see what they get up to. They're going for a pass, looks like. I'm gonna catch a guy in a bad spot. Not gonna do anything about it. Still not gonna do anything about it. Not a good idea to pass here. Okay, he's about to crash. Get stuck behind that. I'd like to get past him if possible. One kind of wide. We're good though. Gotta find a way to get around him. Because I am being held up a little bit right now. The lap time was at 125.5. Not too bad though. He's still pretty fast. I'm under driving, just trying to give him room. So I don't want to end up getting into the back of him. Hey, what's happening? Right side. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Alright, we get by him. That was a little bit a little bit nervous time, but we got it done. Okay, we got a wreck. We're gonna make it past another person, and that's gonna put us P7. Flag man waving that yellow flag. If you're like on the other side of the track, and he's uh, and there's a wreck, is he just on the other side of the track waving that thing? Oops. All right, that didn't happen. No one saw that. Should focus on my driving and not pondering the. If a flagman's waving a flag in the woods, but no one's around to see it, does he really wave the flag? Alright. Let's try to hit our marks here. That's not hitting your marks, that's getting in the dirt. Alright, hit the corkscrew all right there. Starting to feel like I've got a little bit of speed, maybe. Finally getting a little bit more comfortable with how the car is feeling. It's only halfway through the race. You maybe hope that you could be a little more comfortable before halfway through the race, but... Working on my own limitations here. Okay, got someone turned. Thankfully he doesn't pull out in front of us. Appreciate him for that. Half expected it. Someone's just gun it up. People love doing that. I am under driving like crazy just because I don't want to crash this darn car. I mean, it's working. We're in sixth now after that guy crashes. So I guess uh, no reason to push it too hard if we're going to be getting spots. All I've got uh, ahead of me that is potentially 
feasible is this 12, but I think he's moving faster than me at the moment. Just kind of trying to focus on not overdriving entry so I don't crash myself and then trying to make up as much as I can on exit where it's a little bit safer <laughs> to put the throttle down and stuff. Push down. We can catch up here. We are catching the 12. At least the second half of the lap we are. Let's see if we can get there in the next four laps. Oh, I turned in too much and I got that turtle. That was bad. It's the first time I've done that. Okay. Well, I wish I could say that was the first time I've done that. But no. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. First uh, incident so far in the race. Just a 1x. We can move past that. Lost some time. But we're good. We're fine, we're fine. We got nothing to worry about. Except for this corkscrew. Alexander, it's gaining on you. The gap is now 4.1. Thanks for that. I've been told the guy behind is catching. Yellow flag. Looks like it's my favorite. Someone said thanks for that, and now we're catching somebody, so... Apparently we've got free spots com coming. Ooh. Though I don't see him. They might have left the track, though. P6 is what we're being told. So there are issues happening, and so long as we uh, don't have our own, we might get that top five that I said would be just great. I almost found that turtle again, though. I swear I have nothing against turtles. They're wonderful amphibians. Wait, nope. They're reptiles, aren't they? Yes, they're reptiles. Pardon me, my biology is clearly not in its top form. <laughs> so, we... doing okay. Car feels good, less snappy at this point in the race, so less likely that I'm gonna crash, but don't tempt me. Two left to go. Two to go. If I can hit some good laps, I might be able to catch the guy ahead, but that's a big if. Especially with only two laps to go coming up. Two laps left. That's a new fastest lap Overcooked that Beyond. just a little, but we're okay. Get the run off. Wasn't so bad. Just had to be very careful in the wheel there for a second. Able to go through there a little bit faster at this point in the race. About two seconds ahead. Ooh, he had a he had an issue. Okay, we're gaining a lot of time now all of a sudden. He's locking him up. Doing something, he's having a horrible lap. On one hand, cool, we might get another spot, but then I'm gonna have to race him, which means I'm more likely to crash myself in some way. We're not quite there though, we're still about a second and a half behind. We're gonna need more mistakes from him here potentially, I think. If we want a shot at a top five. 
One more to go. That lap time was 124.1. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. Don't drive it off again. I tried. Don't do it though. He's off into the dirt. Sixth place. I don't think it even slowed him down that much though. Get through there pretty good. The gap is 1.0 seconds. Got through there better than he did. Just slightly, I think. Really got the corkscrew there. We can pressure him maybe into a mistake, maybe. Nah, we needed one more lap, maybe to even have an attempt on him, but I'm okay with that. I didn't crash. <laughs> All right. B6. Good race, okay. good win. It's over. All right, there's ticket flag. Let me not give myself an incident good job. Very good job. after the actual event this time. All right. Now we are in a well visible place. We can park it. Get off the track and take a look at our P6. Our, that's just fine. Said top five would be amazing. Top half the field, though, is really all I could ask for. So I'll take it. Even as the number three, this is not uh, where I got the I rating to be the number three, so that's a good result for me. I'm happy with that. Quick glance at the tires, just curious. All right, not bad. We just had the one X, right? Yep, just one X. So only one off track. Pretty clean race for us. And our best lap was the last lap. Yeah, I was just really, uh, really nervous off the start. I just, I've crashed so many darn times in this car. Kind of want to stop doing that. <laughs> so, I'm okay with uh, having been a little bit more cautious off the start. That guy's blinking a ton. Here's someone in the back losing it in the corkscrew. Lap three. Kind of surprised we moved all the way to lap three. This guy's been blinking the entire race. We're going to see him a lot. Here's the 10 looping it and then breaking the back of his car. That's how we got that spot. Blinky McDaniels over here. And there's that 9. Spun it in front of us. Thankfully, he doesn't pull out in front. I appreciate him for that. Again, very unfortunate watching everybody go by, but that's uh, he did it right. He was safe. Too wide in the corkscrew. Nope. Not gonna work. Only one guy gets taken out. That was a little scary. What happened here? It was a long chain of events leading up to what we just first saw there. So that guy gets a little bit shallow and then goes wide. And now he's entering the... Oh my goodness. Just going through the dirt. I finally get things back on track. And then, well, they are just all out of sorts. So this guy locks up his tires. Driving in too hard after all that. Gets the five. Let's see here. So I don't think we got either of those spots though. They got it moving again. So that's how far behind we were. <laughs> that's okay. Oof. That guy uh, hits the reptile. Another spin for the 11. He's uh, had a couple of them. That's what I usually look like. And then that was the race. 12 pulls off uh, onto pit exit. Having successfully held me off for a top five. And I get a P6.
We finish ahead of the one. That's worth something, right? It's worth losing a little bit less I rating, I think, so that's good. Uh, we moved back after a pretty atrocious start. Just people are so much br more brave than I am. But that's okay. We got some freebies back. And I almost caught the 12. But still pulled it into a decent finish, so I'll take it. And uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.